What's cracking guys? Welcome back to some more Star Swirl Academy! Oh yeah! Here we go! Um, choices scared me off last time here. I'm not used to choices, guys! The lovey dummy with waifu games with Rin and freaking Miku didn't have choices. Now, now I'm forced to make them! I'm, I'm not good at this. It makes me worried every time I'm gonna get a bad end. But, okay, let's, let's try to think this one through, guys. It, it sounds like she's working too much. Well, that would probably piss her the fuck off, so let's not do that. She must really enjoy her work. Oh, she reminds me of Ty. Ooh! Okay, so we can either compliment her childhood friend over there. Oh, she must really enjoy her work there. Uh, yeah, let, uh, uh let, let's, let's, let's hit them both at the same time. She reminds me of Ty. That, that would be a good thing there. I bet she and Ty could get along. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the friendship thing going on here. Let's get the love and dummy arm going. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna see. You know, I nudge your arm. You can relate to that, can't you, Ty? Oh, <laughs> be a little smooth there, huh? And making dresses? <laughs> oh, no! Ty, I'm trying to- just working hard here, girl! Get the hint, man! Jeez! You know, being a workaholic. Yeah, there you go! Um, stop calling me a workaholic! <laughs> oh, no, she's getting all sundry on me! I'm sorry, Ty, I'm just teasing you a little bit. Okay, okay. You know, taking pleasure in getting things done, then. There you go, yeah! Well, yes, of course. Oh, she's giving me a blush now! And, and I don't think Rose is very happy that I'm paying attention to her, not her. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Rose. Um, I, I, I thought I'd get both of you in this, but I'm just getting tired, which is fine with me. I love tired. She's... <clears throat> no, no, sorry about that one. The, the sense of achievement you feel, the thrill of researching, the anticipation for a deadline, the rewards of knowledge. Girl, what, what is this about here? You're scaring me with that. Uh, d don't get me started on pop quiz. Quizzes, especially when they appear days before the exam and pressure is so tight in that period I just get the chills thinking about it. Oh god, Ty, you're scaring me a little bit there, but I kind of like it. it's kind of is it getting hot in here guys? Oh god, <laughs> oh jeez, I never thought I'd like talking about tests like this. This is weird. Um, I look at Rosalind who seems more surprised if anything. Polly's eyes have widened as well. Oh god, they're... oh god, I'm sorry guys, don't, don't pay attention to her over here. She's kind of creeping me out a little bit too, but it's alright. Um, Ty has once again made herself the oddest ball in the room. And she's got some tough competition this time around. Yeah, exactly! Come on now, this, I, I actually, I think Rose is pretty cool here, but I don't know about this Polly girl, alright? But you know what, stuff fine, I love them all. It's fun, right? Well, it was uh, sweet of Tom to compare me to someone as motivated as yourself, Ty. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for that one there, Rose. Oh, I'm sorry there. At least you tried to spin it in an optimistic way there. I noticed Ty hunched over slightly in my peripheral vision. Wouldn't surprise me if she was blushing too. Oh, it's alright, girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure if uh, this is the same thing we're talking about here. Oh, okay, it's, it's not? Oh god, what are you doing? You both think work is fun, so what's the difference? You're both as crazy as each other! <laughs> oh, what is this? You have no right to say this right now, Polly! What is this? The synchronization of the reactions makes me laugh. They both glare at Polly. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? They both know you're not wanting to talk there, girl. Um, uh, what? It's a continent. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet it is there. <laughs> oh, no, she's pissed off. It's just pissed off, too. Oh, this is cute. God, this game is so adorable. Oh, my God, what is she doing? Uh, let's carry on with the turn. <laughs> oh, no, she's running away now. I'm sorry, Polly. Um, yes, let's. Uh, no prep at all. Everyone, onwards. Oh, okay, sure. There we go. She points to the door and marches to it, leaving me and Ty to follow. All right. Look, goodbye, Rosalind. Aw, oh, see, she's getting her along right there. Well, yeah, see you. Um, bye-bye um, for now. Hopefully my first impressions were too shambolic. <laughs> it's all right, girl. Girl, you've given me the best impression right now, girl. Mm, mm. <laughs> no, guys, all right, here we go. We're going on. Now, I look back and grin to her before exiting the room. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, God, Tom. He's probably giving the worst grin ever. Returning to the empty hallway there. Um, closing the door behind us, Polly shakes her head and touches me. What? What is this about, girl? What is that? Well, what's up? Uh, silly Tom, you can't just compare a girl to another girl like that. That's like rule number one in the book. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea after all. I'm, I'm sorry there. I, I don't see the big deal. You know, I just thought they'd get along if I pointed them out they have something in common. Yeah, that's that was my train of thought too, okay? You know, Ty's not offended anyway, right? Um, oh, is she? Oh, God. I, I think I freaked her out a bit. 
Yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, that's okay. As long as nothing's bad here. Oh, God, don't, don't pay attention to that up there, guys. Uh, I'm censored that shit. You guys don't know that shit. Um, we follow Polly's bouncing to a door in the back of the building. Stepping through, a rather surprising sight greets us. An impressively sized garden. Oh, yeah, this does look pretty nice here. Plants of all types sprout from out from everywhere. I spot a couple of students passing through the grove, enjoying it as much as I am. Yeah, this does look quite quaint here, quite cush, yeah? The garden's split into sections. One section dedicated to all types of flowers, and one to bushes and other shrubberies. Shrubberies? Oh no, don't get excited after that. There's even a section filled with vegetables and growing neatly. Ooh, okay. Towards the back of the garden, I can see several small shacks. Maybe a love shack back there? No! Hopefully not the shack that's in Katawata Soja. We don't want to go back there. Or do we want to go back there? I'll leave it up to you guys! Alright, there are two looking like tool sheds and the other is looking like a greenhouse. All in all, it's actually a rather incredible sight to behold and not one I was expecting for a school like this. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know, this is this place is pretty posh in itself there. I'd expect like a million other things in here. Nothing surprises me here. Behold, the school's garden. It has every kind of plant you could ever think to research, look at, or eat. Oh, eat? Oh, Alright, sure. I, I guess, you know, like herbs and stuff? I highly doubt it has every kind of plant. Oh, <laughs> what is that, girl? What is? What do you be like that for? Well, that's true, I suppose. We can't seem to find the super duper rare types of plants, though. Uh, but we have most of the common types of plants from around the world, and we always import new ones every year to either add to it or replace old plants. Oh, all right. Really, it all depends on how many students want to participate in the agriculture studies. Oh, all right. Sure, that sounds pretty cool. Wow, with the size of this garden, that must be a lot of students. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing there. Um, well, I, I hear that this year is, is less students than in the previous years, but that makes it, them no less important. I, I, there's even an agricultural club, though I hear the students have dwindled from it as well. Oh, well, that's a bit sad. Then, well, maybe we could do something to fix that, or I don't know. Um, well, that's weird. W with such an expansion of well-maintained garden, you, you would think it would be a bigger job from the students. Yeah, I was thinking so too there, Ty, yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, it has been. Not, not recently. Honestly, I, I see more people looking at their phones and video games than books and walking around. You know, that's probably has something to do with it. Uh, yeah, looking at phones and video games, um... Oh shit, uh... <laughs> don't, don't worry about that one, guys. Um, um... Jesus, this, this game strikes home a little bit. You well, know, that's a shame. Uh, maybe I'll join the club. Uh, taking care of plants sounds relaxing, and their organization could use a little work. Perhaps organizing by genus or species. What do you think, Tom? You're already, like, criticizing the poor people of the club here. Come on. But then again, if you're going to join it, I'm, I'm sure they'd enjoy the help. I, I don't know. If, if you, Wherever you go, Ty, I'd be happy to go with you. Well, don't ask me. I don't know anything about this stuff. Oh, man. Well, that'd be awesome if you did. They could use the help. Oh, well, all right. Now in a moment, Polly's face lights up and she grabs her wrist again. Oh, okay, wait, what are you doing that for? Oh, oh, quick, get behind that bush! Oh, okay, alright, fine, behind the bush! Uh, in a flash, Ty and I find our visions filled with foliage! Ow, 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 not the foliage! Ow, anything but that! Ow! <laughs> no, alright, sure, what's up with that then? Uh, gah, Polly, what the hell? <laughs> She's so sassy with that there! Uh, shh, shh, you'll scare the animals! Oh, uh, okay, as I try to shake the leaves out of my hair, Polly curls her hands over her eyes, like she's holding an invisible pair of binoculars. What? What is this? That doesn't work, girl. What are you doing there? Um, animals? Where? Well, following pocket of Polly's binocular gaze, it's easy to say where she's looking at. In the distance, there appears to be a girl tending to some animals. Oh! Oh, we're already meeting another girl! Alright, sure! Whoa! Mama dama dama wama dama shama! Whoa! No, guys, no! Oh, God, I, I think I think I might have a favor right now here! Oh, oh, oh guys, don't, hold my hand! Hold my hand, guys! I don't know if I can take this one! Don't worry, I, I got this, I got this, guys! The, the first thing I notice is the striking pink hair that reaches down her waist! Yeah! You know, I, I got nothing on Polly's pink hair, that was pretty cute, but this, this pink hair is nice as well here! <laughs> Uh, where Polly's is darker and more vibrant, hair looks soft, glowing faintly in the sunlight. Ooh, ooh, we got a little poet over here, and we didn't know it, Tom! She picks up a candy bar wrapper from the grass and deposits it into the nearest trash can, sighing contently. I can't say I know the tears of cleaning up. Oh, okay. Well, if she likes cleaning up, then good on her. Uh, that's, that's a very good trait to have. Well, Polly, who's that? I'd like to know as well, Polly, tell me! Uh, her name is Faith Summers. Oh. 
That's a really sweet sounding name. She's super in tune with the environment, man. She's like totally green. <laughs> what were you sounding like a valley girl there? You know, she's the head of the horticulture club, which means that a lot of trees and shrubs come her way. Oh, okay, horticulture. That's I'm cool with that. You know, I, I could have guessed. She's probably the only one in this garden at the moment. You know, besides us. And with us hiding behind a bush, it certainly feels like we're trespassing. Yeah, well, why are we hiding behind a bush? Let's go greet this girl here. She takes a seat at a nearby bench as her head pans from left to right, smiling like a fairy tale princess surrounded by her loving subjects. Yeah, all right, well, there we go. A bird flies down and sits her on top of the bench, accompanying her. Oh, wow, she even got a bird to accompany her. Damn. Next, I expect to see a ray of sunlight peek through a gap in the trees to shine on her and her to break out in song. Oh, my God, is it that kind of meaning? Is this a Disney movie? And I didn't know it? All right, sure. Alas. Not a noise is heard. Aw, oh, there we go, as Faith tentatively reaches for the bird, as if to pet it. But, of course, the bird flies away. Oh, well, yeah, that's expected. Oh, birds are kind of like that. Um, oh, no, I want to see more of this girl. Yep, she's also a real animal aficionada, uh, which, uh, I guess, is a shame since Starswell doesn't permit pets on campus or in the dorms. Oh, that's that's not good. Uh, Polly gives us a wink. Wait, wait, what's she giving us a wink for? Wait, what? What's that supposed to mean? Wait, what do you mean by pet? I don't have any pets, girl. Well, there's no way she cleans up the entire campus. Isn't there a custodial staff that takes care of the grounds? Yeah, I was thinking so too. What's up with that? Um, well, it's not like she doesn't have any help. She's just doing her part to keep the school clean. Besides, she also has friends like me and Robbie to help her out if she ever needs it. So it'll all work out. Oh, okay, well, you're friends of hers. Then why are you hiding from her? Let's go greater then. Come on now. Uh, I, I see. Well, that's good. Oh, okay, that is good. Come on. Oh, so cute. Oh, yeah, I agree. Freaking Faith. Yeah, let's go see this girl. I hear a quiet gas coming from Faith's direction. I peek back up there. Faith looks excited, and it's pressed against her face. I look in the direction she's looking, and a small bunny sits in a bed of flowers. Oh, it's a small little bunny over there. Oh. oh, come here, little bunny. It's okay. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You guys like my little sultry girl voice thing? Oh, guys, don't don't like it too much now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dude. For the first time, I hear her voice, even though it's so quiet, her voice is... Like an angel. Ooh, Tom, he's already going for another girl. Now, Tom, keep it down, buddy. Just one girl at a time. Actually, no, just go for it, man. Go for the gun. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, tragically, the bunny rabbit hops away, leaving Faith a bit disappointed. Girl, just call me over. I'll be right over there. No problem, guys. No problem. She stands up from the bench and sighs. Oh, oh, man, come on. Oh, uh, it appeared to be caught. <laughs> yeah, I, I was caught by her little sweet voice over there. Yeah. She's trying to catch the rabbit? Oh, is she? I don't know. Oh, well, maybe next time I'll be waiting for her. Oh, okay. Um, so wait, she's been trying to go for it for a few times? What does she want the rabbit for? Oh, whatever, guys. But don't worry about it. Oh, well, Polly, thanks for the tour. Can we get to the headmaster's office now? <laughs> oh, there we go, Todd. Yeah, I think that would probably be best. Oh, I have a great idea. I should go introduce you two to her. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Please do. Um, it's like she's not even listening. Uh, go introduce yourself, stay hidden, or remind Polly about the headmaster. Well, I guess this is the perfect place to end it here. And another choice time. Choices scare me, guys. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching here. You know, leave a like if you did, and, well, you'll find out what I choose next time here. I don't even know, so let's, let's look forward to next time. <laughs>